everybody, we're playing some more Pokemon. So, we are on Route 15. Really, really quickly, we have to catch a Basculin. And then we gotta catch some things from surfing. And then we're actually done with the route here. Obviously, we gotta go through it and, like, fight everyone and all that stuff. But, um, as far as the Pokemon, we caught most of them last episode. So, we're pretty much good to go. Once I can just reel something in for the life of me. Come on. I just need one Basculin. Dude, this is actually nuts. Come on, man. I, sh I probably should just restart the episode at this point. Oh, wowzers. Okay. Well, we're going to admit it in and I haven't really done much, have we? All right. Come on. There we go. All right. Give me a Basculin. If you give me a Poliwhirl, I'm going to scream. All right. There we go. Got ourselves a Basculin. Um... Okay, it's level 25, so I'm definitely not going to hit it. I'm just going to hit it with a netball and call it a day. These netballs have never really failed me in the past. Um, so... Why not? There you go. Yep. They don't... They don't tend to fail. Which is good, I guess. That's what they're meant to do, right? We got Flaffy to 21... Alright, and then let me go up to the red and blue striped Baskin are very violent and always fighting. They're also remarkably tasty. Oh boy. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump in the water. I'll see these. Woohoo! Bless me. Um, so we got Lombre and Floatzel. Hey, there's the rare spawn. Good to see, good to see. Um, let's see, Float Soul. Uh, let's just go ahead and throw a netball at it. I could probably surf it, but I'm probably still gonna kill it, even with it being not effective. Ooh, the netball didn't work! That was crazy! First time that's ever happened. I don't think the netball's ever not worked. But... It'll work the second time for sure. Not too worried about it. Yeah, like I said. Not worried about it. The netballs always do their job. I dwebble 22. If Fultz using its well-developed flotation sack, it assists in the rescuing of drowning people. What a good... What a good Pokemon. Um... Where am I? Did I already come here? Oh, oopsies. I've already been here. Oh, no. I say, don't get in the grass. I'm gonna, gonna have an encounter. Okay. Let's make sure I don't... Oh! Oh, hi. Are you here to interview me? Um, I mean, I wasn't going to. Alright, Pedro. Your butt. How would you jump out of me like that? <clears throat> Alright. Let's go ahead and, um... Ooh. Why don't we give you a Thunderbolt? No reason to surf it, because it won't... Oh, this won't be effective either. Alright, um... What about a Dazzling Gleam? Will this at least not be super effective? Or just not... That's also not effective. Okay, nothing is effective. Alright, and now I'm paralyzed. What about Power Gem? Oh, that's gross. Don't do that. Might be one of those battles, huh? Alright, enough of that. How, how much will Power Gem do? Not enough to kill us, sadly. Oh, stop with the Mega Drain, man. Please hit. Don't be paralyzed. There we go. Okay. Alright. Yeah, because if I kept getting paralyzed, it would have just kept healing off of me again and again. Flaffy to 22. You're not here from TV then? Why 
Why in the world would I be from TV? How does that even like make any sort of sense? All right, dire hit. Like that. Or favor. Hey, there's the guy we're looking for. All right, Lombre. You're about to be caught. Also, I just noticed Lombre is a grass water type. That's really interesting typing. Hmm. I wonder if he's any good as far as battling is concerned. Interesting. Alright, Netball failed again, but it never fails a second time. Never had one fail a second time. Wah! Alright. Well, technically, I'm not lying when I say I haven't seen it fail a third time. It always hits the third time. One. Two. Alright, Lombre wants to be a little, a little butthead. Okay. Noted. There's also with some light going on. <coughs> Alright, come on. Dude, okay. Wow. Nothing is giving me trouble yet, and all of a sudden, the Pokemon that gets me trouble is this one? Really? Okay. Dude, and he full swipes too. Ooh, I'm gonna stick this guy in the, in the computer so hard. I think I'm gonna have a heart attack. Alright, one more. I've already wasted over $6,000 on this one single loan break because it won't stay. There we go. Alright. Disgusting Pokemon. I don't even want to... Your water grass typing intrigued me, but I'm no longer intrigued in, intrigued in the slightest. You will be sent to the box, and you will stay there. It lives at the water's edge where it is sunny, sleeps at the bed of grass by day, and becomes active at night. Well, now it's about to be active in my PC, because it ain't leaving it. Um, okay, we should probably break this right here. Ooh, a PP up. Very cool. Alright, we are all done with all of the Pokemon in this area, so let's go ahead and use a little one of those, um, where are they at? Um, one of those repels, huh? There's our ball. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> all right, let's jump back on the water here. Make our, make our way down and, uh... Probably just uh, kind of dipski here. I don't really need. I'm kind of done with this route. Um. Ooh, I forgot there's a fight here. Oh, you. If it's a battle you want, we won't refuse. E who are you? Why are you talking to me? Is it a? Okay. I don't. Know. I don't know what's going on with those two. They're challenged by mysterious sisters, Rune and Rhyme. Drifloom and Floette. Okay. Is that a shiny Floette? Hey, two shiny Pokemon, let's get it. Why does that look like a shiny Floette? Oh, it's one with blue hair. Alright, well, Clauncher is about to get sent to the stratosphere, but it's alright. Alright. Yeah, Clauncher is gonna be some collateral damage, but it's alright. I'm not too worried about it. The only thing that survived was the Floette. And that's alright. I wish I would have died, but eh, it's a flower Pokemon, so that makes sense. No, we don't need Bug Bite. Grassy Terrain. Well, that's not gonna help you much. It will heal me a little bit, though. And I will take that healing. Oh, um. Let's bring in Sandile, why not? And I won't use Surf this time, because so, I don't want to take out Sand Um, uh, I'm going to Power Gem it. There we go. Easy peasy. And I will need to revive someone, but it's alright. 
Okay, Star Meter 59. Same dial to 19. Does you need to know Mud Slap? No, you do not. Eep! Hey, that was fun! I'm glad it was fun for you. Those are the red flowers? Okay, the red flowers don't actually have anything new. So we can ignore those. I'm pretty sure I do not have the move Waterfall yet, so I cannot go up that waterfall. What is... Over here? Why don't we use... Our... No, your dowsing machine, that's the one. Oh, okay. I don't know what that pretty wing does. I was like, I was gonna say, there has to be an item here. Like, why in the world would they create that little, like, out patch of land if there wasn't gonna be an item there, you know? Hollow clip. According to Professor Sycamore's research, Mega Evolution releases all the Pokemon's hidden energy at once. The Pokemon that ex exhibits a level of power cannot attain through ordinary evolution. What meaning can we draw from this? Do all people and Pokemon have such potential, or is it hidden within a chosen few? I don't know. How am I supposed to know? All right, little girl, you want to fight? Want to see the scary side of the fairy type? Not particularly, bud. Fairy girl tail Mahalo. All right. I thought she was going to have, like, a scary fairy Pokemon. It's just a Dedenne. It's really just a mouse. Surf it, I guess. I don't know if it's, like, meant to be scary or something, but... Sure, fair enough, I guess. Can I do level 24? No, you do not need Stealth Rock. Sand Dial to 20. On door to 22. Aroma Tissue. It's such a weird cry. I'm gonna Thunderbolt you. Probably should surf it, but I'm gonna thunderbolt it. Oh, gross. Why would you do such a thing? You're gonna get thunderbolted again. Nice, Sandow 21. Oh, the battle ended before I got a chance to show you. Well, you should've maybe should've done it quicker then, bud. Alright, so there's the exit. Alright. Let's go ahead and use strength to get this out of the way. Ironically, we'll we'll have a little bug push this big rock. It's a sky battle. No, I don't need a sky battle. Yo. What is going on in this little area? What? I like blood. Oh, I thought that was blood. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and use another. Um. Okay, is this the Lost Hotel? Is that what this is? Oh. Drift and dash, spin, then boom, right into battle. Alright. Roller skater jet. Ooh, what's with the screaming? All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and surf the Del Kitty. Wait, are we on Route 16? Oh, we're now on Route 16. Oops. I didn't even realize that we switched, um, routes. That's interesting. 
Right, let's give it a Thunderbolt here. But there's actually nothing new except the Phantom. Literally the only thing that's new. Alright, interesting. Alright, what about... Mm, yeah, there's literally not a single thing new except the Phantom is here. What is Electro Ball? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Do not need Electro Ball. Double the 25. Sandel 22. <clears throat> um, no, we don't need Embargo. Alright. Town door to 23. I think it blew it on the barrel roll. Now, okay, here's my question. Where am I going here? Like, where am I going? I feel like this is like a whole nother... Don't you under mystery? We're, we're as strong as Ace Trainers, you know? We might go back here. I don't know wh where I'm heading. Um... Oh, Craw Dog. That's pretty cool. Um... One Thunderbolt hit. Yeah, I don't know. Let me see if I should. Hmm. It connects me to Limoui's Hotel, which is kind of cool. I guess we can check. We should probably clear Route 16. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. We should. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't mean to do that, Thunder. We can clear Route 16 and then head on to the next city. But again, there's not too much to clear, actually. It's just the Phantom to get. But I do want to fight all of the trainers so I can get the money, you know? Alright, Flaffy to 26, Sandile to 23. How could I lose to you? You're not even a nice trainer, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, like, I don't actually know where I'm at. I know there's a guy right there, isn't there? Speaking of battle, through it I will learn all there is about you. Ooh, Osana, what are you just doing hiding in the grass, you little, little weirdo? Okay. We got Pumpkaboo. Alright, we're about to get surfed upon. There's a lot of people on this. Oh! Wait, we get the Super Rod from here! Yo, say less! Alright, we do definitely have to check it out then. I didn't realize this is where we get the Super Rod. And Houndomite? Okay, and we actually get two. Okay. Alright, we definitely have to... Stay on the shout. I learned everything about you, alright. <clears throat> oh, hey! Our Houndor is evolving. Okay, I didn't realize it'd be... I did realize it's level 24, and it, I, we got it at level 21, so... Alright, what else can we get? We can get the fist plate. We got two rare candies. A houndomite, and we have a houndoom, so. Um That's pretty cool. Where is it though? Oh, a new berry? Alright, I'll take the lumberry. Very cool. Okay, randomly clicked and found a mushroom. <laughs> hey, we'll take it. That's why I always just like spam the. Ah! Yeah, that's right, I'm a red Pokemon Ranger. Alright, Bjorn. Slagoo. Hey, we need to get ourselves one of those. We have a Gumi, but we haven't like, taken the time to evolve it yet. There's a lot of like the pseudo legendaries that we need to evolve, but it's oh okay. I didn't realize it was ineffective. But it's gonna take a little while. Specifically, um, the Gibble. Um, what else did we get? We got the Gibble. There's a few other ones that are really cool that I like totally forgot about. Am I dumb? Oh, the Trap Inch, I guess. Um. A few others. 
Wow, this thing is like not okay. Glad dazzling gleam. I don't know, man. But it was something that's effective. I don't know what Slagoo is, so there you go. Oh, okay. I should just hit. It's a dragon. Oh, it's dazzling gleam. Okay, that was like the smallest brain thing I've ever done, but that's all right. Oh no, the Pokemon Red Rain the Red Ranger's in trouble. Um, ooh. We should unparalyze our thingy. Alright, where's the paralyzed heal? Bang, bang, bang. Also, we should probably just quickly revive the, the launcher. So we I need it to get level so I can evolve it so I can get it out of here. But let's also put something stronger up front. Um, I'll probably end up killing anything anyway, but... Allow me to honor you and your Pokemon with a battle. Don't you think Pokemon are just gorgeous when they're showing off their moves? Alright, you're challenged by Mysterious Sisters. Akili? Akili? Huh? Oh, those are some cool Pokemon, though. Gardevoir and... Alex Azam. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and just kill everything on the screen, I guess. I wonder, will it kill both of them? Of course it doesn't kill the other one, man. It never does. Why? I just wasted a revive on the launcher. That's not gonna hurt me too badly. Um, let's bring it into the sand aisle. Come on. Um, we can hit it with a power gem. I think that'll be enough. It doesn't have too much health left, so. Sandel to 25. No. Nope. Sandel does not need swagger, and I might even evolve actually. <clears throat> Hundred to 25, double to 27. What a beautiful combination you and your Pokemon make. Give me that shmoney. Do we got an evolution? No, apparently not. Okay. No, we're still on the same route, so I don't need to use strength again. Um. Let's waste another revive in the launcher. I really need it to be alive so I can get XP. Where does this take us? Okay, this takes us to <clears throat> a waterfall, and I can't actually go up the waterfall, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Oh, did my repel wear off? Alright, well, Phantom. I guess we can look for a phantom while we're here. There's no reason not to. Um, yeah. So, I'm not gonna put another repel on. I'm, I'm, I need some. I need another Pokemon. There's no reason to. You know, I can look now or I can look later, but I'm gonna have to look at some point anyway, right? So, there's no new hordes right now. Okay, there's not. So just a Murkrow, Fungus, and the Clef Key. Guess what? Guess what? My mommy made this dress for me. It, it couldn't be as good as mommy. Why did I say that like that? Alright, we're at the Lost Hotel, I'm guessing? Where are we? Are these people we can fight? They're probably people we can fight. Is there a town here? Oh, this is probably just the entrance to Limoese, whatever, right? Alright, cool. Well then, hey, if we're in town, we might as well get ourselves healed very quickly. Evolve. 39. Okay, that's actually perfect. Because that way, you know, we don't have to keep it too long on us, but it is something we could just kind of get out of the way here. 
Also, did I neglect to heal? That's the whole reason we came. Let's go ahead and heal really quickly. Okay. Right, I'm guessing those people are not going to give me anything. So, Route 16. I guess let's check out what's in here. You look... Ooh! Hey! Give me the super rod? Look at that. All right. Funny enough, the super rod will not get me anything new in these waters, but it will help me get stuff in later waters. Okay, yeah, this is the guy that... It just so happens that I'm a consecutive fishing pro. They call me the general. If this guy can tell me my highest score... Because I was fishing for Starmie, remember? My current best is seven times in a row. Pretty impressive, huh? I tell you what. If you somehow manage to beat my record, I'll give you some dive balls. Let's see, your best record for consecutive fishing is 211. I was wondering, like, what my record was. Because, I again, I hunted for Starmie, like... 12 hours there it is my record is 211 which is also nuts that i only got something after 211 what incredible skill they call me the general but i've got nothing on you don't let it be don't don't let it be said that i'm not true to my word here are some dive balls as promised 20 hey yo this is just a rumor but word is that you catch some rare pokemon through consecutive fishing Okay, he's not gonna give me any more. But 20 dive balls? Hey, yo. Now, my question is, what are those good for? Dive ball. Catching Pokemon that live underwater. Okay. Interesting. Alright, well, there's, once again, not actually anything new I can catch in these waters, but we could battle these people very quickly. Just when I thought I had lost the biggest catch of my life, you show up, but an even bigger catch, I say. Um, alright, let's fight this guy. I was thinking, should I end off the episode here? But nah, we'll, we'll fight a few people before. Um, oh, there's actually only three battles. So maybe a couple of them aren't actually real battles. Let's use Dazzling Gleam. I don't think it'll be effective, but I don't think the Lightning or Water will be either. Okay, Aqua Tail, that's fine. Okay. That works. Bonk. Huh? Starmie to 61. Everyone else grew. I may keep losing the big catches, but I won't let it get to me. Persistence is key. And that's some big facts because I had to be pretty persistent. Whoa, that's some strong pull on the fishing line. Looks like you're a tough catch. No, we don't need to confuse Ray and Flaffy. Ah, that was some rootin' tootin' Pokemon battle. My worldly, my worldly thing is all tuckered out. Alright, one more. You can't make friends with a Pokemon under the water unless you take up fishing. Alright, is it Finn? Lots of things that won't make sense until you try them. All right. What is over here? All right, just an item. Hey, another dive ball. Hey, it's one of those. All right, cool. Real quick, how do we get to the guy in the middle? Oh, he's not in the middle. He's on that little island. Okay. All right, well, I think we're good to go here, really. Um, you just need Phantom? Okay, I was like hoping. I'm like, Phantom? That would be like a pretty neat entrance way, but sadly not. Uh, let's go ahead and push this. Wait, is this how we got here, or is this a different thing? 
Oh, okay, it's a different thing. And we got ourselves the fist plate. Cool. Is there anything in this rock? Hey, there's a... I'm glad I checked it. I'm glad I checked it. I usually don't check things like that. All right, Phantom, where you at? I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep looking for you on our way to the Lost Hotel. Cleft Key, you're close. It's a psychic Pokemon, but I'm looking for a ghost Pokemon instead, actually. We can kind of make our way back up here. Actually, I don't need to go up there. We already battled those two. A lot of grass. Holy, okay. Pumpkaboo. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't realize Pumpkaboo would be in here. My eyes are getting bad, apparently. I don't know why I just neglected to see that Pumpkaboo is also something new. Alright, so it's Phantump and Pumpkaboo. That's it, though. There's nothing else, actually. Four from Ward? Hey, look at that. Ooh, apparently, so the Pumpkaboos come in different sizes. The big Pumpkaboo is 1%, which is interesting. Um, what about Withdraw? We can get rid of Withdraw. So, we could potentially hunt the pump, big Pumpkaboo, but I don't... How would I know whether it's a big Pumpkaboo or a small Pumpkaboo? The pumpkin body is inhabited by a spirit trapped in this world. As the sun sets, it becomes restless and active. I'm guessing this is one of the small ones, because it looks on the smaller side. Okay, but... Okay, the tall grass isn't particularly better at finding the phantom. It's they're really the same percentage. Um... Alright. Um, I just want to make sure I don't miss anything here. Okay, okay, we already got all of this, right? Yep. Alright, cool. Let me kind of make our way back here. We got our Pumpkaboo. Not really looking for a bigger Pumpkaboo, that's fine. So wait. I think there might be an item here. Using a dowsing machine. Is there an item here? Maybe? No, apparently there's no item here. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Down there is the lost hotel. So I guess let's try to find Phantom real quick. Or, yeah, Phantom. And then once we find Phantom, we can go down to the Lost Hotel. Okay, here we go. We got ourselves the Phantom. Um, yeah. Time to catch it. And then we can go ahead and head into the Lost Hotel, where there is... Oh, that's a creepy sound. There is a couple new Pokemon. We got Magneton, we got Electrode, we got Litwick. Oh. Do that. Okay. That was weird. But we also got Rotom, Trubbish, and Garbodor, which is cool. And a few trainers. And Bop, there we go. We got ourselves the Phantom. Alright. These Pokemon are created when spirits possess rotten tree stumps. They prefer to live in abandoned forests. Sad. Okay, well, if we go down here... Oh, wait, I just saw, like, an item. How do I... Okay, well, I want to get to that. Okay, let's actually head down into the hotel here. Um, and meet our first Pokemon. Maybe it's something brand new? Sure is. We got ourselves an Electrode. I don't know where we can get one of the Voltorbs. Maybe I'll have to breed to get the Voltorb. 
I don't think there's any special ball to catch electric Pokemon, right? So... We'll just have to throw some Ultra Balls at it. And it looks like it wants to be well behaved, so perfect. Alright guys, but with that catch, we're actually going to end off the episode here. Um, yeah, we'll finish off the rest of the hotel next episode, including getting Litwick, Magneton, Rotom, Trubbish, and Garboduar. It explodes in response to even minor stimuli. It is feared with the nickname of the Bomb Ball. Well, see you guys later.